Professor Pineapple loves his model spaceship. It took him three afternoons to build it, and two more to paint it. It's much smaller than a real spaceship, and it doesn't fly, but he's proud of building it all by himself. He loves his blanket, too. It's warm and covered in beautiful shapes. Even when he's far away, he feels at home when he has his blanket. Dr. Bigsby is Professor's best friend. He likes to play with his beach ball because it's fun and reminds him of the ocean. Professor prefers to read. They both like to build sandcastles. They always have a lot of fun together. One day, Dr. Bigsby decided to play with his beach ball in the house because it was raining. He bounced it off the ground over and over. It went higher and higher with each bounce. He was having so much fun, but then it fell onto the table and started to roll backwards. It kept rolling until it hit Professor's model. It fell off the table and broke. Dr. Bigsby felt very sad because he knew how long it took Professor Pineapple to assemble his spaceship. Prof came downstairs to see what caused the noise. When he saw what happened, he became very angry. He shook his fist and went up to his room, leaving his blanket in the laundry basket. He told Dr. Bigsby he never wanted to see him again. He did not speak to his best friend for two days, so I asked him what was wrong. He said he was sad because he couldn't find his blanket. He was mad because his spaceship was broken. Professor, I said, there are people in Tibet who spend days working on beautiful patterns called mandalas, just like the ones on your blanket. Do you know what they do when they finish? He shrugged his shoulders. They wipe it out and start again. Your blanket can be replaced. You can build a new spaceship. It'll be even better. Possessions can be lost or broken, but you can always buy new ones. You can't buy a new friend. And your blanket is in the wash. It was very dirty. I laughed. Dr. Bigsby hugged him and asked, Will you forgive me? Professor nodded and hugged him back. It feels good to forgive.